And got an old coin collection you're looking to sell? The buyer at AU Jewelry Exchange Lab, Jen Stokes, joins us now in studio with more on the hidden value of vintage coins. What, what do we have here? So, Adam, what we have here this morning, we, normally when we're uh, talking on CHH, we're talking about jewelry, but today we're talking about coins and coin collecting. So this is an example of what we would see in our lab, um, Grandpa's coin collection right from the attic, right from the box. So these are, it's almost like a antique roadshow kind of thing sometime in our lab and we're under, under covering mysteries of what may be in here. So you can start unboxing it with me if you like. All right. And we'll see what kind of treasures are in here. It's gotta be pretty neat to have someone come in with a box of unknown and just like this, for example. What do you, yeah, what do you see here? Yeah, it's so fun. So this, for example, is a proof set from the Royal Canadian Mint. Uh, back in the day, a lot of people would um, collect coins typically annually, so they'll buy a set every year. Um, this one has your old uh, silver dollar, or sorry, Canadian dollar. This one is actually not silver. Um, a 50 cent piece, quarter, nickel, dime, and two pennies. This set uh, is worth $2. All right, now you showed me a pretty easy way to figure out if a coin has more value than other coins. How Great. do you do that? Great, excellent. So this is one of our first tests in the lab, which will actually take an earth magnet, a rare earth magnet. It's the strongest magnet you can get. If it sticks to the metal, it's not silver. Sticking to that nickel, it's a nickel uh, dollar, so it's worth exactly a dollar today. It's not circulated, so you can't spend this at Starbucks, but you can take it to the bank and get the dollar for it. If we took a similar set like this, very similar, but do you, I don't know if you, you can see it or if the camera can see that. I can see it. But it's oxidized a bit, um, showing signs of silver, not sticking, sticking. So this dollar is worth a dollar in commodity, or sorry, currency value. Nothing in commodity value because it's nickel. This one is sterling silver, so it's worth a dollar in currency value, but it has a commodity value of $20. All right, what's the most valuable coin you have here on the table? Well, this is really interesting because it came from this box, so we've got some really um, cool bullion in this coin collection. So that's pure silver. This is what a, a pure bar of silver would look like. Well, it's got some weight to it. And this, so when we're uncovering coin collections or looking through these boxes, you'll see a little bit of everything. We've got silver in here. We've got other little miscellaneous coins. Sometimes even a note from Grandpa of what the coins are. But this particular collection, what we found, and usually when you're going through coin collections, if you find smaller little bits, that's an indication or a clue of there might be something valuable. So in this one, for example, we found your old little, some world coins his old Stelco ring. Oh, neat. And then this film case. And in the film case, what we found in this film case was a bunch of old $1 coins from the US. However, sneaking in that little container is a gold coin. This is a 22 karat gold coin. These coins here are worth maybe $5. This coin here is worth $600. All right, can you show the camera? There. It's worth how much? Six hundred. Six hundred dollars. Yeah. All right, we've got less than a minute left. What should someone do? What advice do you have for someone who finds a box like this in their house? Bring it into the lab. That's the best thing to do. We have all kinds of tests that we'll take you through. We'll Google your items once we've kind of narrowed down. So coins have three types of values. They have a currency value, a commodity value, and a collector value. And collector would be, is it rare? Is there a mistake in the coin? Is there certain, certain something, um, like are they following the queen? Type things like that. And so we'll go through a variety of tests. First, we'll find out what the currency value is and what the commodity value is. Once we've narrowed that down, then we'll take the commodity value coins and see if there's any collector value in them. And we'll go through little coin Bibles and right. we'll take you through the whole interactive process at the Perfect. lab. Great. Thank you very much for your time. I You're appreciate welcome. it. All the best. Thank you.